So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a swoosh transition, a proper smooth smooth, smoosh, smooth, smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Camille, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve an amazingly smooth swoosh transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's hop onto the computer behind me and show you how it's done. So the first things first that you guys want to do is open up Premiere Pro. So I'm going to show you guys two instances where you can possibly use a swoosh transition. I'm going to show you how to create the swoosh transition from scratch. And, and I'll leave anything that I'm talking about, all the presets and everything, as a link in the description below, ready for you guys to download. So please go and check it out. Download the presets and you guys be able to create the same thing as I'm creating at the moment. So first things first that you want to do is get some clips into your timeline. So I've got two different sort of sections that I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to show you how to do a swoosh transition and how it will look like on, uh, for example, this little cut. So we have clip number one, clip number two. This adjustment there is just color grading, sort of sort of like the, the vignetting side of things <laughs> to my video. Just ignore the top one. But um. Clip number one, clip number two, and you go, there's a hard cut, and then it goes to another clip. Make sure you leave a little bit of space between, like, see where, like, I start, kind of just start, stop talking here, a little bit of space, and then there's no talking, and then I start talking somewhere around here. Make sure there's a couple of seconds um, of, like, uh, spare time in between the cuts because you need it for the swoosh transition to occur. So first things first that you guys want to do is go into your um, bin over here and uh, press on the, the uh, new item button. When you've done that, go on the adjustment layer and... Um, Press OK and it just creates a brand new adjustment layer that you can just drag on top of your footage like so. And you really only need a little bit of the adjustment layer. So if I was you, I would just drag it across like so, just in the middle. Um, go where the cut is, exactly on the cut, and then just cut it like so. Get rid of the excess and then count. Um, I normally say 10 to the left, you can do anywhere between five to 10 frames to the left. Um, I'm gonna do eight in this instance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then you uh, select the adjustment layer again and you cut it and there we go. So you've created eight uh, slots to the left. And then once you've done that, what you wanna do is just copy and paste this layer and just put it onto the other side like so. So you have eight and eight frames worth of just a blank adjustment layer once you've done that what you want to do is just copy and paste the adjustment layer on top like so and just extend it on the length of both of those little sectors at the moment so the reason we've done this is because we have a base layer it's like um it's like a layer that adjusts your footage and its sizing and 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 the way it it kind of looks i'll explain in a moment uh, once i apply the effects and the top one is at the actual swoosh movement so uh what you want to do is is go into your effects, go into um, like your presets and uh, make sure you download the presets I'm about to give to you guys in the description below, a link's in the description below, go download them. So what you wanna do is highlight the two bottom ones and just apply this base layer. This base layer basically, if we hover over this uh, and if it decides to load, if it doesn't decide to load, um, ah, there we go. It decided to load. So see how it kind of just like duplicates your footage. Um, this is mainly because when you swoosh something, it will have, you just see the black bars of where the clip ends, where this kind of just extends the clip, um, allowing you to have this smooth transition. And I'll explain in a moment because when we apply the swoosh uh, or the, the smooth whip, effect over here that will also leave in the description below please go and download it um, in order for this to work and if you apply it to the top layer over here it will somewhat just zoom in to the middle one and it'll create this uh this blur effect and if we go one frame after another if it decides to load uh which a lot of the times it doesn't load see see how it kind of just like normally this would just be dark because that will be the edge of the clip end of the clip it duplicates the clip so it duplicates the colors and because it's a blurred it doesn't give this image like it, it just it just doesn't break it it just makes it look good and because it's like a split second it, it, your eyes just get tricked that it's just a continuation of the image and like that the camera actually whipped rather than you're trying to do this electronically through the editing now what you want to do is um grab yourself a uh, an effect a sound effect i download these off of the internet off of youtube for free you can go on epidemic sounds if you like or art list or anywhere i recommend youtube is the fastest way to get a swoosh uh, transition sound 
and just look for a good switch transition sign. I'm just going to see if I can find one. I think we're going to use this one. So you create an in point by pressing I, create an out point by pressing O and just grab and drag this up and just line it up exactly with the, uh, the actual transition like so. Um, I would actually just turn this down as well. So audio game minus, um, how about we do minus 10 decibels? I think that's a good, I think that's a good shout right here. Minus 10 decibels. And if we just click over here like so, and if we play this to everything. So the second thing on the list, see, we have made a swoosh transition. But the beauty about this swoosh transition is that you don't have to remake it from scratch every time. You make it once, you save it, and you just copy and paste it. So what you want to do is just highlight the bottom bit and the top bit so it's all highlighted. Right click, group this. So now when you highlight this, you can just group it and you can just zoom out slightly. And if you've got another cut where you have a swoosh transition that you need to apply, you just um, hold Alt and just drag it and it just makes a duplicate like so over here if we zoom into this area with those clips let's say uh like so boom and uh let's just play this with those clips is it lined up it is 100 percent lined up make sure those two sort of notches are lined up this means that it the smooth the switch transition will work perfectly and then if we play the two clips Boom, we have a beautiful and amazingly smooth swoosh transition. But unfortunately, it does bring us to the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. If you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. If you guys have any ideas for future videos or you see something in my videos that you'd like to see me perform or show you how it's done, then do let me know. But instead of me rambling on, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.